Okay, we bought this Berkey. It was just after moving up here. We had decided that we couldn't fully trust the water coming out of the burn scar that PID was su supplying and we were, we were paying for. So anyway, we decided about that time, which we bought this because we were totally into um, solar and off-grid because we were off-grid. And uh, we were actually getting our water from different places and it had to be filtered. And I also added a filter to the, to the back of our trailer. It was a combination filter, a debris filter and a charcoal filter to get rid of any chlorine that we were getting out of the system. So anyway, our solution was to buy the Berkey. This is the Berkey Royal. I believe it says Royal on there. So anyway, this one is the Royal and it has the meter tube on it um, and the spigot that goes with it. It comes as a unit. And this one has... Uh, yeah, it's got the two filters. So it's two charcoal filters inside, and then on the bottom, going down in the bottom chamber, are two chlorinated, chlorination and uh, fluoride filters that filter out chlorine and fluoride and other VOCs. So, you know, you get the double whammy. And the word is that you can pour pond water in here and, and feel confident that you're drinking safe water. So had the dual purpose of cleaning VOCs out of the Paradise Water uh, Supply from PID and anything that we might have gotten um, out of the water tank that we bought. We bought a 2,500 gallon vinyl or whatever they are, a cistern. And, but basically this is the Berkey Royal. Uh, we, had, we got the stand, but was it worth the peace of mind? You betcha. We, and we'd do it again in a heartbeat if we had to, right mom? Here I am for okay, yeah, so. yeah, It's gravity fed and it gives you plenty of water when you need it. Good it's what we use for our coffee and anything we put in our mouth comes out of that. You have to replace the fluoride and uh, the chlor chlorination uh, filters once a year. Charcoal filter is more you replace it as the flow starts drawing down. And you don't re really replace it, you clean it. And you can take anything that will kind of scrape, scrape the outside layer very gently, which will then allow the water to filter back through the charcoal. This is activated charcoal, which is just heated wood um, that heats all the elements out of the wood and leaves charcoal. And that's called activated charcoal, but that's what they use on all these activated filters. So, this is chrome. This has a stand. It uh, sits, it lives right by the sink, so it's easy to fill. We use this. We use that or other things, depending on what we have at hand. And the water coming out of our sink is highly chlorinated. You can smell the chlorine coming out of it. So we go ahead and we clean it up, and that's what goes in our Keurig coffee pot. I'm going to have to review the Keurig too. It's been a lifesaver, a godsend. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification button if you want to catch our next video when it comes out. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, we do have a Patreon account, but I don't have it. I'll try to link it below.